Thank you for joining me for this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Um, I want to do something uh, that I hope catches on quite a bit. Uh, I want to talk about nightcaps. You know, I don't know if people remember back in like 50s, 60s, probably even before that, who used to do nightcaps where before they were going to go to bed, they'd have a drink and relax and then go to bed. So uh, you can see it in older movies all the time. But uh, I just took a shower. I'm in my pajamas and I'm like, I'm not I'm going to call this a nightcap. I'm going to have a nightcap. And hopefully this is a good nightcap. I've heard good things. This is white chocolate. It's by the brewery out of Placentia, California. They just put Orange County on the label, but it's Placentia specifically. Uh, it's 16.6% alcohol by volume, and it is a bourbon barrel-aged wheat wine with cocoa nibs and vanilla beans. So there you have it, white chocolate. If you're familiar with the brewery and how they do their labels, a lot of them are very, very similar. Um, so... Just different variations on it. Hopefully this isn't a total pain in the ass to get off. Uh, I know some people were a little upset this time around because they used to do the waxing on this and some of their others. And they've gone away. They do this kind of like shrink-wrapped ordeal. Doesn't really matter to me that much. I'm fine with whatever. I just want to make sure that this tastes good. Pour that out. doing in high class, uh, you know, nightcaps are high class, so I figured, let's go high class, this is my glass from the Saber Craft Beer and Food event, so shout out to Saber, it was an awesome event. Um, looks a little bit darker than I would assume a wheat wine to be, but that's probably because of the bourbon barrel aging, we'll take on some of the, you know, caramelly coloration of the oak, the, um, the smoked, or the uh, scorched oak, so um, a little orangish. Ooh, super aromatic. Um, see, here's the thing. I don't think I can smell that it's a wheat wine necessarily. I guess if I really, really try, but the first thing that hits me big time are cocoa nibs. It's like crazy cocoa nibs in there. And then you have some nice vanilla beans in there, but that's right under very, very present caramel aspect that's coming from the bourbon barrel. You smell some nice bourbony sweetness in there. And you get a little bit of like an oakiness. It smells so good. It smells so good. Feel a slight bit of a burn going down. Um, cocoa nibs get a lot of the cocoa. I get a good amount of the vanilla. Um, it's actually coming off a little marshmallowy, which obviously is really good. I'm assuming that's between the vanilla and the oak characteristics. Um, but this is, mm, mm, nice bourbon sweetness in the flavor, just like it was in the nose. Mm, yeah, I, I think this would uh, qualify as a nice uh, nightcap type beer. High in ABV, definitely a sipper, 16.6%, um, which, I mean, it kind of, when you get me over like 12, <laughs> you know, unless it's something like 20 some, I'm kind of like, yeah, it's high. So... I'm guessing it tastes like 16.6, but a little bit of a burn that just kind of sits in the back of the throat. Not a bad thing. It's just kind of warming and nice. This would be great on a cold night. It's not right now, but, you know, hey. Anyway, thanks, everyone, for checking this out. Uh, if you have the means ever uh, to get some white chocolate, check it out because this is nice. Uh, probably the best wheat wine I've ever had. I know there aren't a ton of wheat wines out there, but the fact of the bourbon barrel aging, the vanilla beans, and the cocoa nibs really kick it up a whole lot. I know a lot of people aren't huge on wheat wines in general, but this is a really good way to make people get into it. So anyway, thanks to the brewery. Thanks everyone for checking this out and go have yourself an awesome beer. Have a nightcap.